cypress tree. Cypress tree slabs right there. Washita River backwater silver. There went all the fish because we scared. Hofer. Yeah. Scraper. That's old scraper. Hofer. He's all right. Yep. He's about 18 feet out. Today was a work day. A little afternoon trip. We're in the backwaters of the Washita River. And uh, these perch are in here. They're always in the woods. As the river goes to falling out, they come in these sloughs. A lot of people wait till these sloughs drop back off to where the water's not up in the woods. Today, the water's just falling slow and it's still up in the woods. What we're doing, we're just working these little small sloughs off the river and catching these fish as they come out. And there'll be plenty of fish that we're gonna see this evening coming out of these woods. And you'll see a little bit of what we're doing. You can see these trees and stuff in the background. There's a lot of brush and those fish are, are stacked up under that brush. And you just can't get like a jig in there on some of them. But a lot of these fish are working out in this slough feeding. Still using the Charlie Brewer sliders in chartreuse with an orange tail. This has been a hot jig this year, and I'm going to relate that to all the rain and muddy water we've had. Uh, I don't know. This has just been the go-to jig for us this year. Normally, it's June bug and chartreuse and even hand ties and other jigs, but this one has, has caught a lot of fish this year. It's supposed to be a pink head. They don't beat the paint off of it. I'm still using it till I lose it. Don't really matter. These fish are hungry. They coming down out of this timber getting in this slough and they're just gorging on these these bait fish in here. We fixing to get on them. We talked just a second. We just caught a fish right from between them two limbs. Turn around and there's two more fish right there between those two limbs. So I'm gonna try to catch them real quick or at least one of them. See if we can get on him. See the jig coming in there. We got a little bit of interference this evening. I don't know if that's a lot of bait fish or just what. We'll see if this fish bites right here. And he did, I just missed him. Yeah, that fish just bit, but I missed him, so I'm gonna throw right back on him again. That's a pretty good fish right there. Look, he bit it as soon as he seen it. And they are, they are just taking what you give them this evening. These fish are biting everything we throw at them this evening, so we're gonna try uh, to go to hand ties and just see what happens. Maybe we can save some plastic jigs. Kind of go into a similar color pattern with a lot of orange and chartreuse on it. Just see if these fish will eat this jig.
these fish are wanting to bite this evening. I don't think it's going to matter. I think we can fish hand ties this evening. He chomped it. Show y'all what we're fishing with right there. This is a hand tie that I've made. I never even caught a fish on this color pattern. It's chartreuse and blue top. Kind of a, a bluegrass type tail with an orange head, orange body. And this is some of that flash that's like a rainbow flash in it. That first one just nailed it. Catching them. Y'all can watch what kind of presentation I'm giving these fish, like kind of hold it up above them until they respond. He's coming off of it. Nope. Hmm. Not every one of them will bite. That's the first one that hadn't bit this evening. better than that on the screen. I think there was two on that tree. for our scraper you can scrape them <laughs> yeah drop down on the other one Good one for these we're catching. Yeah, that's a little bit better one there. Yeah, that's a good one. He's nice and thick, healthy. Y'all can see here we in this backwater. And these fish are all up in that timber. You just can't get them out of that timber. You just have to kind of work these edges, and that's what we're doing, picking up one here and there. He's on him. Get on him again. He didn't even move that time. Mm -mm. I don't think he ever seen it. He's coming. Mm. Tough luck. 
y'all can see right there what these fish are doing they're just sitting there under that ball of bait hit them got him oh yeah pretty good one. not bad you can get him in a boat yep She's sporting a God's Country hunting and fishing cap. Yeah. Yeah, another one. That's got mud on it. What? Get a hat like this if you want to catch some fish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Need a net? Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Don't lose it. Need all we can have. That's a good one. Bring it up. Let's see. Got him. That's a good one. All up in the cypress tree. Cypress tree slabs right there. Washita River, backwater silver. Car. Pull up, pull up. There they are this evening's catch. Quick afternoon trip. Nice mess of white perch. Probably get a couple messes out of that. We're showing a lot about how to do this on the channel. Y'all be sure to subscribe, like, share the videos, share it to your buddies, tell them about the channel. That's what helps us grow. That's going to be it for this one. God's Country Hunting and Fishing. Keeping it real.